Canada's Olympic Committee says it's working to break a barrier. Today it announced new plans to fight anti-gay bias in sports and to support athletes. It's being praised within the gay community as a good and important step. But some say it comes at least a year too late. Avard Gould explains. Rosie Kosser was an Olympian who competed for Canada. For years, also training to keep a secret. I know how it feels to be honestly quite terrified to come out. The games in Sochi brought the issue of sexual orientation out into the open. Russia's anti-gay laws banning what was labeled homosexual propaganda created a furor. The controversy growing for Canadians when during the games, Russian leader Vladimir Putin was given a very warm welcome at Canada House. In contrast, this activist says when there were opportunities in Sochi to publicly criticize Russia, the Canadian Olympic Committee was too restrained. The COC could have done a better job in terms of uh, being public about uh, their position. They were a bit quiet. Not anymore. Make no mistake, discrimination of any kind has no place in the Olympic movement or within sport in Canada. Today, in what is being called a groundbreaking series of moves, the COC announced new measures to help promote acceptance and equality in sport, including counseling and support for athletes who choose to come out. I struggled to come out for, for years, so it's just exciting to see. Mark Tewksbury hid his sexual orientation from almost everyone when he competed. Now, outreach programs will try to reduce discrimination in schools. I can't imagine after winning the Olympics that the Olympic Committee would say to me, make sure when you go out and talk to schools to include the fact that you're gay. For me, this is just a day I never, I never thought would come. Patrick Burke, who helped found the You Can Play organization, says the goal is to eliminate what he calls casual homophobia in sport, the kind of discrimination his late brother Brendan faced. The Canadian Olympic Committee has now set the bar and other committees uh, around the world have to either rise up and match this initiative or give us reasons why they won't. That's the hope, that Canada can create a new set of rules and perhaps not just for sports. Harvard Gould, CBC News, Toronto. Rio de Janeiro, Pyeongchang and Tokyo will host the next three Olympic Games. Brazil allows same-sex couples to both marry and adopt. South Korea and Japan are less liberal. Neither has anti-discrimination laws protecting gay rights. And many people in both countries frown upon homosexual relationships.